Okay, welcome back to Parapod. This is the second video, uh, the second video to show the Paro Tunnel, uh, Paro Tunnel, um, uh, that we we're gonna uh, build in Calgary. Um, as I as already I explained, um, you know, while passing Calgary twice, right, going to Norseman, I saw uh, you know metal structures, uh, four units. Uh, sitting on the land. Um, interesting that the uh, farmer, uh, the um, you know couple, uh, yeah, running that uh, vegetable farm. Uh, on that place, there's two farms. One is the indoor fish farm. Then the other, you know, outside, that's the 24-acre uh, uh, vegetable farm. So the couple running the vegetable farm told me that uh, shortly after in fact just one day after i left calgary because i mean i'm a, i'm on my way to norseman right i passed calgary so right after i left you know and going for um uh, uh saskatchewan and then uh he said the four structures four metal structures you know came right so and uh, so when i came back from Norseman and when I saw the four uh, you know uh, metal structure immediately I see the potential right to use them right because uh, they're free right they're just you know you know will go to the <laughs> the you know metal uh, recycle right but uh, you know so he can get a lot actually and so immediately I see the potential you know we could use it for vertical uh, farming uh, and uh, sand ponics, you know, uh, aquaponics, right? So, um, and then I took some picture, a video, um, and then sent it to Richard. Immediately, Richard saw this, and then he came up with this design, yeah. And actually happened to be the um, similar structure uh, that um, Richard uh, and, uh, and, uh, and people in, uh, in Norway uh, did in the year 2012 okay this is the, the structure they set up on a parking lot uh, on, on pavement so anyway uh, as you can see it's in Norway so the separation is large because they need um, you know uh, more insulation uh, property right but anyway so it, this is exactly you know literally exactly the same structure you know same design but there's some twist, right? Uh, notice the the bubble generator; is, they put it here, right? But uh, in our design, the um, we put it inside. We put it see here. Um, we put it inside the uh, instead of in the cavity. We put it uh, still above the door, uh, but it's inside the cavity. Uh, so. So you see it's inside yeah so this way um, the because the when you fill the bubbles with um, fill the cavity with bubbles you know the uh, usually is the bubble machine that ha you know, when you stop right usually it's the, the bubble machine that don't have the bubble the insulation so this way uh, we put it inside the uh, you know uh, the cavity I mean not inside the cavity that inside the greenhouse right and then we have insulation around it so and that way we'll, we won't have the freezing condition in, in winter right everything protected insulated yeah so that's why yeah okay um that's it um so basically after presenting the first uh, uh design uh we actually the first design have two, three designs, right? Uh, large, medium, and small. And um, uh, we talked to the uh, farmer, the couple, um, and uh, basically we um, decided to, you know, work on the smaller one, the smallest one, um, because that one is easier to build and uh, relative shorter, right? We can use because uh, I, I cannot work there <laughs> you know, in six months. Uh, hopefully we can finish everything in two weeks. I know it's challenging, but it's possible. 
um, because we have lots of friends there and and a lot of people actually willing to help right and uh, so we could round up uh, people to help and then we can finish this uh, you know most of the uh, things uh, in two weeks uh, uh, yeah so that's it um, and then so so simply we uh, you know instead of having one in the in the greenhouse we have two structures three total four structures and we place them uh, one meter a half uh, uh, separation and then so uh, and we have one meter uh, and a half separation all around uh, this way we have plenty room to work around and to you know uh, tailor the you know uh, you know yeah basically to uh, to to handle right uh, the fish and the vegetable growing yeah um, yeah and so beside adding three more module uh, for the structure uh, we um, I mean talking about the the unit of the structure yeah and then uh, we added something else I like to go through uh, quickly with this with the scenes I created this is the end wall view you know to show in the door um, the door we need to uh, modify so that doesn't have to be this tall we can have um, you know we can have a frame here you know uh, just normal height and then uh, we can have a fan there we can uh, uh, add some uh, ventilation uh, we do need to push air in right push air into the um, the greenhouse inside and then also push push air inside into the cavity uh, because we use uh, the airs to support the cavity uh, as I so uh, later on you'll see why see we we have um, the arc here and arc here but not for the external there's nothing there's no support in between because we use the air supporting system okay so um, and this way it saves lots of material and um, you know and then we have a little bit of air in uh, pressure inside the greenhouse and also inside the cavity yeah that's uh, what it is um, and then we look at the um, top view um, this shows the top view as you can see the separation right the cavity um, is uh, you know really big uh, it's 0.75 and uh, about three feet which give you R36 uh, uh, insulation um, and then uh, we, sh we see the no cover we remove the cover basically the wireframe uh, showing the um, not the uh, external frame we are missing this one you know, it, it's gone with the cover uh, but showing the um, in the uh, in the uh, uh, arcs, right? Uh, we use flat bar. Uh, we're gonna use uh, you know the cheapest flat bar we can get, and then we paint it with silicon paint. Uh, and yeah, and for the other frame, for the center uh, frame, uh, for this, uh, we suggest to use wood, uh, not just any wood, but uh, a silicon coated, you know, silicon paint coated wood you know so basically we're gonna uh, treat the wood you know we're gonna create a bath and then in uh, you know uh, and, and then make the make sure the the metal parts and the uh, the wood will be treated with silicon paint and this way um, a prevent moisture right to get in uh, seal it and also uh, to add um, cushion between the metal and uh, that film right because this time we're going to use the film uh, the the farmer already have they have six or seven pieces of large film uh, it's uh, 10 meter wide 100 meter long uh, it's a long very large one 
so um, yeah we're gonna uh, do that so that the metal uh, metal bar uh, won't be as hot right won't, won't get too hot and to um, change the shape because the film can when it's too hot we can change uh, shape right and so uh, this way um, it will uh, prevent that and also um, you we kind of a uh, you know this way uh, the metal is uh, you know, corrosion free right so this way we don't have to use um, um, the um, galvanized metal bar we can use any metal bar the cheapest metal bar we can get we simply coat with silicon ourselves and then uh, uh, you know seal it yeah so that's it um, so uh, that's something we like to uh, tell you uh, but the, in the next design we're gonna show uh, we're gonna show we're gonna actually draw uh, uh, using two by three uh, wood uh, you know to yeah to do most of the stuff but for anything that uh, need to be curved we use metal bar uh, that's it okay um, then there's something we add um, something interesting um, that is the uh, water uh, over top uh, bed, right? How we draw the, you know, the pump, the water will be pumped. Uh, by the way, with this, we'll use it, uh, a different pump, you know, air, air lift pump, yeah. But anyway, just sh this showing the water comes uh, and then drop into this gutter, and this gutter sitting on the uh, the edge of the grow bed. Uh, by the way, um, I'm, we are showing the we are breaking the uh, top grow bed into half along the uh, the you know the, the longitude of this uh, structure, so that uh, there's light can coming through and then give light to the uh, to the grow bed below, right? So we're not blocking the the sun. Yeah. So that's what we did. And then the pipe coming here, the T and then elbow right, on both sides and then the water will fall into the gutter and the overflow and slow down the impact and then the water just uh, simply flow onto the sand surface and then uh, and flow this way. So as you can see it's slightly tilted toward um, the outside you see. Uh, probably hard to see but this probably you can see it's slightly tilt yeah we we uh, you know wrist side raise up and uh, so the water will flow uh, along uh, ferrule and to to um, to flow uh, from this end to this end so that means the water uh, exit will be on this side uh, so for that reason we need to add more detail uh, so maybe three pipes uh, for pumping you know for uh, a gravity drain and then there will be a gutter on uh, here right to capture the uh, the water and then uh, a gutter on the other side right the other side to capture and then we just simply uh, another gutter it's a like a, a big capital I right uh, and then uh, another gutter to so to gather the water in the center but the center along along this this way you know in uh, 90 degree you know rotated uh, so that the 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 gutter will be here right so this way um you know the water overflow and flow to both side and then uh the this the, the grow bed will will uh, uh, slope toward downward this way and downward this way so then uh, so that means the ferrules you know they uh, will will be uh, along this way yeah so anyway so the 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 end result we want the water coming out from the bottom of this grow bed you know uh, top grow, this is the middle grow bed we want it to the water to exit from this end and this end why because the um, the gravity right um, the dripping of water is a, it's a you know uh, depending how many holes you you open right 
could be very powerful. So uh, when they drop, it uh, push the water to the center, right? Push the water this way to the center. So this way uh, will uh, will move the fish poop, right? Will help gather the fish poop at the center. Yeah, that's uh, that's the idea. Yeah. Uh, so um, let me see. Yeah, because this is long, right? This is, uh, you know, uh, so we need some push. And then um, here I like to spend some time to explain. Uh, here you see it's uh, we have a inverted Y. Um, this is uh, actually the so-called air lift pump. Um, so we're going to connect the branch this side uh, to a, a compressor. So the compressor push air, lots of air, you know, high pressure air into this. And then the air will, uh, because this whole thing is immersed in water, right? And there's water in the pipe. So when this air coming in, it mixes with water and create a mixture. And then that mixture is light, you know, in density. And then this whole thing will rise, right? Will uh, basically go up and then uh, you're gonna see uh, the uh, the air mixed with water mixed with fish poop and coming shooting out from these two pipes you know uh, shooting down into the gutter so this is so-called air lifting uh, by doing this way we um, we aerate the water uh, you know but at the same time we use the air to create a natural lifting yeah and uh, so called the air lift pump uh, if you search on the internet there's a lot of um, you know people uh, you know uh, doing that and uh, I myself uh, work with uh, air lift pump you know for two years so I uh, I'm glad that uh, we have this uh, in the design uh, okay um, that's it. Oh, there's one more thing. Uh, I think we forgot to uh, mention the, the fish uh, pond divider. We'll just quickly explain. Um, basically, if you um, zoom in here, you see a net. Okay, you see a net. Uh, we use that net to separate, to create two regions. One for um, fish nursery, so we can place one mother and one uh, um, uh, father um, uh, fish uh, in this region, then they can uh, produce a, a small fish, right? And this net will prevent the mother and, uh, and father fish to enter into other areas. So they are restricted in this area. And the same way we um, create a region, you know, using the same mechanism uh, and then we create a region here uh, so that uh, we can change this net right you can you know depending what kind of fish and depending the size of the um, uh, the harvest uh, you know the, the fish that ready for harvesting um, and then we can uh, basically the, the, the function is that, you know when you feed fish uh, you know you you drop the feed here uh, the food fish, uh, the food for fish here, then the big fish tend to run fast, right, to get the, the food. And uh, as they are small, they can go through this net, no problem. But once they get relatively large, and then they can still get through. But then because the food is, uh, you know, d delivered here, so they tend to stay this area longer. And then once they grow, suddenly they find they're too big to go through the net, right? They cannot go, go to the other side. And they're happy to stay on this side because this is the place they get the most food. So this way we encourage the big fish to come this area. And once they grow large enough, then suddenly they, they find they cannot go through the net, right? And then that's their you know movement is restricted and then we can simply 
you know, uh, once you have many fish there, we can simply grab the one you want, right? So this is the so so called self harvesting, yeah. And um, otherwise, uh, without this mechanism, it's very you have to drain some of the water to 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 harvest, right? But this way is better. Um, and then while you harvest, more big fish will come, right? So this is it. Uh, we like this uh, idea, uh, so we like to tell you about it. So you can use it right away. If you grow fish, you know, doing aquaponic, you can use this mechanism. This mechanism alone, one, you know, same thing. One for fish nursery, one for fish, fish uh, harvesting. Uh, well, you know, it will save you a lot of effort. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, one last thing, I just uh, quickly show you the um, the bubble flow. Um, yeah, because I'm doing two videos in a row. <laughs> if I first uh, speak in English in Chinese, my mother tongue, and then I speak in English. So um, sometimes I may forget, right? Whether I have covered the uh, the bubble generator. Um, in this design, so far we haven't talk about the where the soap uh, tank right that's something uh, for the next session uh, we have a, a very smart uh, design um, and uh, we can have heat exchange between the fish tank and the soap uh, soap liquid yeah but anyway we'll leave that for the next session uh, but uh, I like to explain the bubble generator um, maybe I didn't explain in the first video. So basically, um, uh, the two bubble machines work in unison, right? Uh, so if we have this, uh, if the fan is on the left hand side, and the screen on the right hand side, then the, the fan simply borrowing air from this region, then produce bubbles, right, fill this part, and then keep expanding and filling the, the, toward this way. Uh, but on the on this side, the bubble uh, work just opposite. So instead of producing bubbles on this side here, it, 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 the fan is here. So the fan is simply, uh, you know, draw produce the negative pressure, right? Simply pull air into the bubble generator and then produce bubble on the other side. Yeah. So uh, you have to make the two bubble machine work this way and then we save the circuit we cut the circuit in two right so make the total filling happen faster yeah so uh, so basically this bubble ma bubble generator produce bubbles uh, filling this and that bubble ma uh, operator uh, I mean bubble <laughs> generator producing bubbles filling the opposite side okay opposite cavity so this way we can quickly cut short uh, the, the time. Yeah, and that's why we can still use two bubble generator to do the job, yeah. Um, yeah, and because of this, um, we can actually um, in the winter time, you know, when the winter time, suppose the left is the south and the right is north, right? And then we want the during the day, we want the north side to be filled with bubbles, and the, the south side leave it, you know, open, leave it transparent, make it transparent, right? So in that that case, we can simply shut down. I mean, we can simply stop the pump for this bubble generator. So the fan is still working, pulling air, moving air from this side to that side because you need a circuit, right? And then this one uh, producing bubbles fill this. But once it get to here, it just stopped, right? Because then the fan will crush the bubbles and turn it into, into liquid. For that reason, there's no bubbles on this side. So for that, you know, using this way, we can um, specifically fill one side only, yeah, one art surface, right, only, yeah. So um, on the, in the summertime, you want the opposite way, right? You want the south side to be filled with bubbles for shading, right? So anyway, uh, what if uh, both uh, one of the bubble machines stop running, right? In that case, we can actually literally 
it's possible, right, to fill the entire cavity using one bubble generator. Yeah, yeah as long as you have the passage. Yeah, so we we're gonna have a mechanism. You know, when that happened, you know, when it's not working, uh, and then, you know, uh, uh, for example, the fan is stopped working, the 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 the, the pump is stopped working, then we can use one bubble generator to fill the entire cavity. But a uh, way has to be, uh, we have to have a mechanism to remove the screen. Just like the air filter, if you pull it out, then the foam can pass through, right? But we insert, then the foam stop, right? So this way uh, we can do that, yeah. That's something uh, you need to understand uh, if you want to do it, right? If you don't want to do it, then it doesn't matter to you, right? As long as you know how we can fill the entire cavity, that's enough, yeah. And then we use the air blanket you know, to, um, the bubble blanket to insulate uh, this type of material. So this is unique. Uh, this is, um, well, um, yeah. Uh, Richard has helped uh, um, people in Norway, uh, you know, do this. Uh, but uh, we're glad we can do this in Calgary, and um, yeah, and uh, 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 yeah, we can round up people there to help and uh, sp speed up the project, you know, so that can be finished quickly. Yeah, I plan to, to spend uh, two weeks there. Uh, hopefully we can you know uh, do a lot of work yeah so as long as we can round up enough people to give hand for example um, treat it the the wood and the flat bar and the metal you know with um, you know uh, silicon coating that's something that a lot of people can participate right uh, we'll show you how and uh, you know some you know for the structure we can use rollers uh, to do that yeah and uh, for the flat bar and the wood, uh, two, two by three wood, we can create a, um, a trough, right? A, a, a tray uh, to, you just simply fill the tray with soap, uh, uh, I mean, silicone liquid, uh, liquid sil silicone, and then you dip the part, whatever part, right, in to uh, coat it with uh, silicone. And then you simply hang in the, in the air, right? Let it dry. And that's it so hopefully you understand uh, if you don't understand make sure you ask question um, and we can help you out thank you